This is the Beanium Lab. For the Beanium Lab, you have a sample of beans. There's black beans, speckled beans, and red beans. And what you want to do is you want to sort out the three different types. And so I'm going to sort these out. So there is my red beans. Sort out the speckled ones. And now I sort out the speckled, leaving behind the black beans. So I have three piles of beans. Next thing I want to do is I want to get the mass of each pile. So I'll zero balance my uh, balance. And I also want to tear the wing boat on there as well. That way the wing boat will not detect the mass of the wing boat. So anything I put in the wing boat is just going to be taking the mass of whatever is in there. And so I'm going to hit zero or tear so it doesn't recognize the wing boat. And so now I'm going to add all of my red beans to the wing boat. And so since I teared the wing boat, I'm just taking the mass of the red beans. Okay. Next, I want to do the same thing, but with the speckled beans. I'm going to zero or tear that once more. Add the speckled beans. Okay, and then lastly, I want to do that with the black beans. Oh, I forgot to tear. So each one of these bean types are supposed to represent an isotope of an element. And since isotopes can have different masses due to their different number of neutrons, these can be symbolic of those. So there is our mass of the black beans. And so by determining the average mass of each of these bean types, and also the number of each one, I could use the percent abundance from counting all the beans, and I can use the average mass from getting the mass and dividing by the number of beans that I have, and so using with the abundance and the average mass, I can calculate the average mass of all of these beans together. And so it's going to be a weighted average because I don't have equal portions of red, black, and speckled beans. Okay, so we are done using the balance, so we'll get this out of the way, and we are going to count the beans, okay? Um, since this is a virtual lab, you are going to be counting and I'm going to be manipulating. So here's one, two, three, four. So that's all the red beans. We're going to count the speckled beans next. One, two, three.
Okay, so that's all the speckled beans. Get those out of the way. And lastly, we need to count the black beans. Once we have the total number of each bean, we can calculate the percent abundances, and then using the average mass, we can could, we could determine the average mass and then calculate the average atomic mass for the hypothetical element, beanium. That was two. All right, that was all of the counting. And so we are all set. We have enough data to complete our lab. We need to first calculate the percent abundance by adding up all the numbers of beans, dividing each color of divided by the total to get the percent. We'll get three different percents. Using those percent abundances, we can get the average uh, atomic masses of each one. So take the total mass of the black beans, divide by the total number of black beans to get the average mass, the total um, mass of the speckled divided by the total number to get the average mass. Same thing with the red. Take the average masses, multiply by the abundances, add them together, and then we're going to have the average atomic mass for our hypothetical element, beanium.